Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to install Monster Health Bars and DPS Counter mod. So first of all, you want to go ahead and install some mods. You want to go to your browser, go to this nexusmods.com. I'm going to leave uh, all of these links in the description. You want to go ahead and create a free account here. And once you will have it, first of all, we have four uh, things we need to download. Reframe work, reframe direct to D catlib and then monster hunter wilds overlay so the first thing you need to have is reframe work you're going to click manual download here and you're going to click slow download uh, after that you want to download reframe work direct to d and then you want to go ahead and download catlib and monster hunter wilds overlay and as you can see for this one you need all of those uh, now after you have uh, downloaded them I have them here in my um, separate folder. Now, what you actually want to do is go ahead and extract this folder right there. And also you want to go ahead and extract D2D also right there. Just like so. Now you have two folders. You will have reframe work and reframe work DLL file. You can go ahead and delete those zip files here. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add them to the same folder. And now we have reframe work and a DLL file, which we're gonna need. Now we can delete those. And now we are left with all these zip files. So first of all, we're gonna extract cat catlib. We're gonna extract it also right there. And here you have it. Now you want to go ahead and open up Catlib folder. And here you will see Reframe Work folder. And here you will see Auto Run. So you want to go ahead and copy this Auto Run folder. Now open up the first Reframe Work folder and paste the one here. And now basically it will uh, go into Auto Run folder. And as you can see, there is Catlib. So that's how it works. Um, now uh, another thing to do is delete this catlib right there and this one too and now we need to extract mh wilds overlay now we have this and here you will see reframe work uh, right there open it and you will see auto run and images folders you want to go ahead and copy them go back to the first reframe work folder and paste them right there now the auto run will be right there, as you can see, and you will see images and plugins. Now you can go ahead and close everything and we will only be left with, let me just delete this, this one, and delete this one. Now we have these two files and inside the reframe work we have all four um, mods. So now we need to go ahead and open up Steam. Then on Monster Hunter Wilds, you want to right click, then go to uh, Manage and Browse Local Files. This will open up basically, and here you, you will need to go ahead and go ahead and put these files, just like so. And now you will have both Reframe Work and Dimput 8 DLL file inside the Monster Hunter Wilds, and that's all you need to do. Now. All you need to do is open up your game. Now, once you launch, launch the game, uh, this will be opened. If you don't see it, then just click insert button on your keyboard. Now, you will see all of those shaders under script generated UI, and you can go ahead and edit them. So if this video was helpful, guys, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.